So after using several high-end smartwatches like the Apple Watch Ultra and the Garmin series like the Epix and the Phoenix, which cost an arm and a leg very expensive, I decided to go this time with the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic 47mm Bluetooth version. The experience has been mostly good. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and today we are going to do a long term and an honest review of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic 47mm Bluetooth version. So I have the stainless steel version here and it really looks elegant and I love the way it looks and feels. The sapphire crystal coating on the glass and the stainless steel body have really stood up against scratches over time and there are just a few minor ones here and there. So I did not like the included white watch band that comes with the watch. So I switched to this Spigen stainless steel band which I feel fits and complements the watch really nicely. A lot of people compliment me on this watch and tell me how good it looks. And this 47 millimeter is the largest size available on this watch. I like big watches and I have a big wrist. So this size 47 mm really suits me. If you have a smaller wrist or if you want a smaller watch, this is also available in 43 millimeters. So the watch is not really very heavy, but of course, when you put a stainless steel strap on it, it increases the weight a little bit. But do keep in mind that if you wear this watch for sleep tracking, it'll be very uncomfortable. In fact, my wife uses a Galaxy Fit 3, the small fitness band, and she finds even that uncomfortable. That's something you need to take note of. If you want to do sleep tracking, maybe you should consider buying a fitness ring. This review is coming up also very soon. But for wearing it daily and for everyday use, I do not find any discomfort at all. Now the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic has an IP68 water and dust resistance rating. Plus, it has been tested to 5 atmospheres. There's nothing here that makes me concerned the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic won't stand up to some rough treatment. And the choice of materials gives me confidence. It'll stay looking great too. The white strap may need a little more care though. After abandoning the rotating bezel for the Galaxy Watch 5 series, it's fantastic to see this iconic Samsung feature back for the Watch 6 Classic. It's really simple. You use your index finger to twist the bezel around and navigate through the menu. Yet, wonderfully intuitive. And it makes using the smartwatch easier and more fun. This motion is perfectly dampened and absolutely precise, allowing you to move swiftly through the software without any of the fiddling involved with using a rotating crown. It's an ergonomic triumph. And once you've used it, you will not want to go back to a smartwatch without it. It's joined by a pair of buttons on the case, a home button at the top and a back button below. And each is configurable to a certain extent. The display is a 1.5 inch 480 by 480 pixel resolution Super AMOLED screen and is always bright enough to be seen. The display glass has a sapphire crystal coating to prevent scratches. Samsung's smartwatch interface is excellent. It's bright, colorful, and all the fonts and buttons are sensibly sized. A twist of the bezel shows different informative tiles, and you can always change the order and add or subtract them to customize the look to your requirements. I like the way it's always really obvious what each one does and where to tap to do more. Swipe up on the screen to see your apps, down to see the quick settings, and right to access your notifications. It's all very logical and doesn't stray from the established way of using a Wear OS smartwatch. The performance from the new Exynos W930 processor isn't always as snappy as I expected despite the increase to 2 GB of RAM. It's most noticeable when the smartwatch wakes itself up, but once the watch is booted up, all is good and smooth. Now there have been a couple of updates and the initial sluggishness which was there before has mostly gone. On the software side, Samsung promises four years of updates. Also very important to know is that the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 and the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic only work with Android phones and do not connect to an iPhone. If you own an iPhone and want a smartwatch, the best choice is the Apple Watch series. For health and fitness tracking, there are more than 90 different workout tracking modes and the option to create your own custom workout plan. During an activity, the watch shows information including time elapsed, heart rate, calorie burn and heart rate zones. You can select a desired heart rate zone to hit and the watch will alert you when it's reached. Now, starting a workout is done by navigating to the workout tile and tapping your required activity. 
I love that this is all it takes. There's no need to agree or confirm anything. It just gets on with it. Like the Apple Watch, it acquires the GPS signal in the background. And I have been impressed on how fast it grabs the signal and when the surroundings are clear. Another feature I love is how well it counts exercise reps, like for example, when you're doing ab crunches or squats. On the back of the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic is the same bioactive sensor found on the regular Galaxy Watch 6, which includes an optical heart rate sensor, an electrical heart signal sensor, an infrared temperature sensor, and the ability to perform a bioelectrical impedance analysis to assess body composition. This is the same functionality as found on the Galaxy Watch 5 and the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. It takes 30 seconds to take an ECG on an electrocardiogram and informs you if it detects signs of atrial fibrillation, then records the results in the Samsung Health app. Using the body composition feature takes about the same time and it shows data on skeletal muscle, body fat and body water. Plus, it works out your BMI or your body mass index and your basal metabolic rate, that's your BMR. Body composition will likely be more helpful to more people than the ECG feature, which is likely to be only recommended to people with certain medical conditions and after consulting a doctor. The Galaxy Watch 6 Classic can also take a blood pressure reading, provided the feature is active in your region, but it's made very clear that you shouldn't use the data to take action or alter medication without speaking to a healthcare professional first. Now, this feature also requires calibration using a blood pressure cuff before it works. I used an Omron blood pressure monitoring device for this. I have also posted a video on how to use the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic with the Omron device. You can check out the link to that video here. Now, inside the 47mm Galaxy Watch 6 Classic is a 425mAh battery and Samsung expects 40 hours of use without the always on screen and 30 hours with it on. I have used the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic with the always on screen plus the blood oxygen and heart rate monitor active while connected to a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. It returns about a day and a half of use on a single charge and that includes daily wear and a single 30 minute workout without GPS tracking. Now, sleep tracking itself takes about 10% of battery life on its own. And if you track longer workouts with GPS, the battery life will drop to a full day. Now, in my test so far, it hasn't failed to last an entire day though. A proprietary charging puck with a USB Type-C connector is included in the box and it takes around 80 minutes to fully recharge. However, a quick 20 minute zap adds about 25% which is helpful if you forget to charge it before going to bed. So after using the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic for almost a year now, I would highly recommend it. Although you must note that the Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 series is just going to be launched and it's around the corner. That's going to be launched probably in July. This watch is really well designed and made, so it always feels and looks good on your wrist. And because the health and general functionality is so comprehensive, it'll almost do everything you could want from a wearable. Plus the rotating bezel makes using the software easy and fun. And that's all before you consider the durability and decent battery life. The Galaxy Watch 6 Classic isn't perfect, but it's far less complicated than its rivals and absolutely crushes them when it comes to ergonomics through its incredible comfort stylish watch-like design and choice of case size. If you ask me what smartwatch to buy and if you own an iPhone, I would always suggest you to go with an Apple Watch. But if you ask me what smartwatch to buy if you own an Android phone, I can easily recommend the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic series or the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 series. So I really hope you like this video and it was informative for you and give you some idea about a one year usage of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and please leave your comments and let me know what smartwatch are you using or you intend to buy in the future. Well, this is Sunny signing out for now. Take care, stay healthy and I'll see you in the next video.